March 2025, The Oval Office. Cameras roll as President Trump steps forward and reveals something that has been flying in total secrecy since 2020. Not a rumor, not a concept, a real fighter jet, one that has already logged hundreds of flight hours. And until this moment, almost no one outside a very small circle of officials even knew it existed. Meet the F-47, America's first sixth-generation fighter. While China rolled prototypes down runways for the world to see, the United States took a very different approach. It built something so advanced and so deeply classified that even the images released to the public are intentionally misleading. Air Force officials openly admit they are laughing at foreign intelligence agencies trying to reverse engineer fake render. This is not just another fighter jet. This is a $300 million flying quarterback, a command node in the sky that directs drone formations, penetrates heavily defended airspace thousands of meters deep, and represents a technological leap that makes the F-22 look like yesterday's solution. But what truly separates this story from every other defense program you have heard about is speed. While Pentagon aircraft programs usually take decades to crawl from concept, to operational reality, the F-47 moved from idea to flying prototype at record pace. And the reason why explains everything about how modern air warfare is changing faster than most people realize. Welcome to Nuke Aviator, where we break down the real stories behind America's most advanced military technology, the announcement that stunned the defense world. The defense industry was caught completely off guard. Boeing had just won the most important fighter contract in a generation, beating Lockheed Martin, the company behind the F-22 and the F-35. The engineering and manufacturing Manufacturing development contract alone was worth more than $20 billion, but that was not the shocking part. This was not a paper aircraft, not a presentation full of promises decades away. Air Force Chief of Staff General David Aylvin confirmed something extraordinary. Experimental F-47 aircraft had been quietly flying since 2019. By 2022, those aircraft had already accumulated hundreds of flight hours. They were not just flying. They were testing cutting-edge systems and maturing sixth-generation capabilities while the public was still arguing whether such fighters were even necessary. The designation itself carries history. The number 47 honors the P-47 Thunderbolt, the rugged World War II fighter that helped secure air superiority over Europe. Long-ranged, durable, devastating. The F-47 carries that same DNA into the age of stealth and artificial intelligence. Secretary of Defense Pete Hegseth did not soften the message. He stated plainly that this aircraft sends a clear signal to allies that America is committed for the long haul and to adversaries that the United States can project power globally without obstruction for generations to come. Nothing else comes close. The pause that changed everything. What makes this story even more fascinating is what happened before Boeing's name was announced. In 2024, the entire Next Generation Air Dominance program hit the brakes. Then Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall reviewed the numbers and saw costs approaching three times that of an F-35 per aircraft. So he stopped everything. The Air Force launched a comprehensive internal review. Different aircraft concepts alternative force structures, new operational strategies. Every possible path to air superiority was examined. Major General Joseph Kunkel, who led the study, was blunt about the outcome. They tried everything, and there was no viable alternative to NGAD for maintaining air dominance in highly contested environments. General Kenneth Wilsbach added the final point. If China is developing sixth-generation fighters, the United States must field sixth-generation fighters to counter them. This is no longer theoretical. If you believe America needs to stay ahead in the skies, type proud in the comments. Secrecy takes to another level. Here is where things get truly unusual. China flies its sixth generation prototypes in daylight. Footage spreads online. Analysts dissect every frame. Russia openly discusses future interceptor program. European partners working on next generation fighters release specifications and demonstrate it. The United States does none of that. No confirmed photographs of the F-47 exist. Not one. Only two official renders have ever been released and Air Force leadership admits they are deliberately deceptive. Frank Kendall even joked about Chinese analysts trying to extract meaning from them. His message was clear. Good luck. This level of secrecy mirrors programs like the RQ-180 reconnaissance aircraft, which reportedly flew operational missions for more than a decade without a single verified image ever surfacing. And the F-47 sits at the very top of that classification pyramid. Defense research officials later confirmed that two full-scale experimental aircraft, one from Boeing and one from Lockheed Martin first flew in 2019 and 2022. These were not models. These were real aircraft logging hundreds of hours testing the future of air combat. While analysts debated theory, test pilots were already flying reality. And if experimental jets have been airborne since 2019, and Boeing began building the first production F-47 in late 2025, with a first flight planned for 2028, that tells us something important. America has quietly rewritten the rules of defense acquisition. Range that changes the battlefield combat radius determines how wars are fought. The F-22 has a combat radius of roughly 590 nautical miles. The F-35 extends that to around 670. Capable jets, but built for a different era. The F-47 exceeds 1,000 nautical miles. That is not an upgrade. That is a transformation. In a Pacific conflict, 
This allows tanker aircraft to stay far from danger instead of operating inside missile on. Fighters can launch from defensible bases beyond initial strike range and still reach deep into contested territory. China's anti-access strategy depends on pushing American aircraft too far away to matter. The F-47 simply ignores that logic. Variable cycle engines make this possible. Engines that adapt in flight, prioritizing efficiency during cruise and raw power in combat. Combined with speeds exceeding Mach 2, the result is an aircraft that is both fast and far-reaching. Stealth beyond invisibility. Sixth-generation stealth is not binary. It is broadband. The F-47 is designed to remain low observable across the entire electromagnetic spectrum, radar, infrared, and beyond. Its thermal signature is minimized to defeat a advanced tracking system, and layered sensor network. General Alvin described its stealth as significantly more advanced than fifth-generation fighters. That word was chosen carefully. Unlike earlier platforms, the F-47 is built for sustainability, fewer maintenance hours, higher sortie rates, stealth that works in prolonged combat, not just under ideal conditions. Even the visible features in released renders may be deliberate misdirect. Either designers solve challenges once thought impossible or those features do not exist at all. That uncertainty is the point? The quarterback and his team. This is where the F-47 truly changes warfare. It does not fight alone. It is designed to command formations of unmanned collaborative combat aircraft. Artificial intelligence enabled wingmen capable of reconnaissance, strike mission, electronic warfare, and decoy operation. The first variants are already underway and the Air Force plans to build more than one 1,000 of them. Each F-47 becomes a formation commander. Data from satellites, drones, ground systems, and friendly aircraft is fused into one clear picture. Artificial intelligence handles complexity. The pilot makes the decision. This is not one aircraft. This is an aerial network. Cost, commitment, and reality. Yes, the price is staggering, roughly $300 million per aircraft. But the F-47 is not meant to replace everything. It exists for the hardest missions imaginable. Airspace where fifth-generation fighters may not survive. Environments where dominance must be established before anything else can happen. Air superiority enables everything. For Boeing, Mer this contract is more than a win. It is a revival. It secures decades of advanced fighter production and sends a clear signal that the United States is investing in dominance not parody. Final thoughts. The F-47 is not just an aircraft, it is a statement. While others display prototypes, America flew the real thing in silence. While analysts debated, engineers tested. While adversaries guessed, pilots trained. First flight is planned for 2028. Operational service follows in the early 2030s. And when the F-47 finally emerges from the shadows, it will not need hype. Its presence alone will redefine what air superiority means. If this breakdown helped you understand the future of air combat, like the video and subscribe to Nuke Aviator, we will see you in the next one.